hello thank you for stopping by my name is becky and this is bex reads and today i have another recommendation collab for you so if you've been here for a while you know i love doing recommendation collabs with people it makes me feel more of a sense of community here on booktube and i just love sitting down and binge watching a bunch of videos all at once because youtube is pretty much my tv i don't just have five booktubers collabing with me today or even 10 or even 15. Today, you will be getting a collaboration effort of 20 booktubers. 20, two zero, 20, <laughs> who will be recommending you books featuring their favorite badass female characters. And I cannot thank them enough for wanting to do this with me. I had this crazy idea on a random Sunday. I'm like, you know, I would really like to get at least 20 booktubers to do a same day post collab recommendation and boy did they turn out for it so thank you all so much for wanting to help me with this i really appreciate it all of their channels will be linked down below as well as a playlist where you can find all 20 of these rec videos in one place so you can just binge watch the whole thing in one go but before i get on to sharing with you my recommendations let me just briefly introduce you to the collaborators of today andy at a zebra reads april at happily ever april lisa at babe in library Katie at Coffee with Katie, Crystal at Crystal's Bookish Life, Erica at Erica Reads Romance, Issa at Fun Fantasy Books, Hannah at Hannah Blackwell, Jackie at First Lady Reads, Joe at Not So Average Joe, Kaylani at Kaylani Simply Me, Kristen at Kristen Craves Books, Laura at A Book Circus, Mariah at Mariah's Moods, Autumn at Knows in a Book, Jen at The Book Refuge, Tori at Novel Life, Tara at Tara Talks Books, and Victoria at Under Victoria's Spell. Now let me introduce to you some of my favorite badass female characters. First up, we have Quinn from the Dark Magi series. This is an adult fantasy romance that skews more toward fantasy than romance, but it does have some romantic elements into it. It's a pretty slow burn. It takes about till the third book to really get to that romantic element but it's there. This book also delves into some pretty dark territory, especially book three it is the darkest by far. But Quinn here escapes slavery with the help of Lazarus, who is a dark magi. He is a soul leader and he wants her to become his vassal. So he releases her from slavery and he wants to unleash her powers to hopefully help him reclaim his throne. And throughout the series, you watch as Quinn slowly comes to know and understand her powers. She is a fierce twister which as the term implies she is able to twist people's darkest fears into reality she is a take no shit badass she protects those around her who have gained her trust and have proven themselves worthy of her trust she doesn't let people talk her out of doing the things that she has her mind set on doing she is not a bleeding heart she never questions whether or not the things she does is correct she is just here to enact her revenge on people and give people what they deserve I honestly am kind of terrified of her. I don't know that we would be great friends in this world because I'm a little pansy girl and uh, she's a kick-ass woman. Next up is Anna Set from the Wraith King series. She gets her own book in the third book, The Ippos King. This is another adult fantasy romance. I think it's pretty balanced on the fantasy and the romance. I absolutely love this series. It's my favorite series ever, and I love Anaset's character. She is a Kai warrior. She is the cousin of Brishan, who is the main male character in books one and two. She is the captain of his guard, so to speak. And in this book, she is tasked with sort of traveling along with Sarovek, who is a human, to help him take this priest's body back to his final resting place and sort of be their guard and look out along the way and report back to Brishan what's happening in the kingdom that he left behind. So Anaset is incredibly kick-ass. As I mentioned, she's a Kai warrior, so she's not even human. She's got claws, she's got teeth. She knows how to wield weapons. She also does have this tender side to her that she likes to sort of keep hidden. She's also very straightforward. She tells it like it is. She communicates what's on her mind. She is a badass woman, and I think I would actually be friends with her because she does have that badassness about her, but she also has that vulnerability about her that I could probably potentially find something in common with. Where the previous two I shared with you are very badass in their strength and their weaponry skills, 
Lennox from the Kingmaker duology, she is an intelligent badass. In this, we follow Lennox, whose mother disappeared, and she is determined to fight for her mother's causes. She wants to let people know about missing and murdered Indigenous women and the injustices of Indigenous people. She is able to intelligently, factually, and eloquently explain the injustices going on to people in order to get them to understand her point of view, and she fights for it tooth and nail. I absolutely loved her character. I loved just how smart she was. This girl is smarter than I could ever be in a million lifetimes. And I think her story is definitely one that you should check out because it does highlight a very serious topic that happens in the real world. And people like Lennox do exist out there. Next up, we have Rosetta from Sea of Roses. This is another adult fantasy romance that skews heavily toward the romance. This is a smutty, smutty book. But we follow Rosetta, who is escaping a very abusive relationship, and she ends up taking over this pirate ship and making it hers. She is such a badass. Not only is she intelligent, but she knows how to wield her weapons. And not just her actual physical weapons, but she knows how to use the perceived weaknesses of being a woman. She knows how to use those to her advantage. But she's also a badass because she's willing to help those who are lower in standing than her. She protects them and in doing so, she is able to build their trust and their loyalty for her. Next up is Lana from the Mindfuck series. I'm sure everybody has met Lana and knows what a badass she is. So in this, we are following Lana who, she's a serial killer and she is out for revenge on the people who did her and her family wrong when they were younger. And she ends up in a relationship with the FBI agent who is trying to track her down and he doesn't know that she's the serial killer he's trying to track down. He's incredibly dumb. <laughs> she has thought out her revenge strategies to the point where she's in it for the long haul. She has been contemplating this plan for years and years. She is always one step ahead of the FBI who is trying to track her down. She's another one who I don't think I could be friends with if I lived in this world because quite frankly, she terrifies me. One of my favorite young adult badasses is Nita from Not Even Bones. So this is the story of Nita whose mother captures and sells magical creatures body parts on the black market and Nita is the one who slices and dices them up so that she can sell these body parts. When her mother asks her to do something she knows it's not the right thing to do so she goes totally against everything that her upbringing has told her to do. She knows herself, she knows what she needs to do in order to combat her mental illnesses and to calm down, and she knows technically how to do those things as well. So she is an incredible badass. I think she's an underrated badass because she is a young adult character, but I think you definitely need to check her out if you're into young adult, morally gray characters who you can't help but fall in love with. You're not going to be surprised by this, but the next character I have to share with you comes from an adult fantasy romance, and that is Anwell from the Dragonkin series. Her nickname is Anwell the Bloody, so that tells you that she's badass right there. In this, we follow her as she is trying to kill her own brother to take over a kingdom that she knows she'll be better at ruling than him. However, she ends up getting injured and this dragon named Fergus ends up saving her and sends this knight to train her so that what happened to her doesn't happen again. And lo and behold, that this man he sends is actually just Fergus in his human form and they develop a romance. Anwell is one of my favorite badasses because she knows her way around a weapon. She will kill without question, but she only does it to the people who she feels deserve it. She is also willing to learn from her mistakes. She knows that she has some weaknesses that she needs to work on. And throughout this series, you see her vulnerable side and you see her become a mother, you see her become a queen, and you see her speak her mind and stand up for herself and not let people put her down just because she's a human amongst dragons. And if you've been watching my videos at all this year, it's not going to come as surprising to you that I include this character and this book in this video because I include it in every one of my videos and that is Solveig from Master of Storms by Beck McMaster. 
Solveig is the oldest of three sisters in her kingdom and she has grand plans to become the queen of her kingdom once her father dies. But she is forced into this arranged marriage and mating to a dragon shifter from a neighboring kingdom for alliance's sake. She doesn't want to be bonded to this guy because she has grand plans to become the queen of her kingdom and she knows that if she mates this man chances are good that he's going to become the king and she's going to become second fiddle and she doesn't want that but it happens and he leaves her. And so she's pissed because she didn't want this in the first place, but then for him to leave her, that's an embarrassment that makes her feel weak. So she sets out on a revenge to find him and kill his ass. But when she does find him, she ends up having to work with him and pretend like they have this unshakable union for the sake of building an alliance with another kingdom. She is very protective of her family. She has goals that she doesn't let people deter her from, but she's willing to listen to people and offer second chances to those people who prove that they deserve those second chances. So she's very emotionally badass as well. I just love her character because she has so many layers to her and it was so great to see her and the character growth and the relationship growth that she has within this story. And my last favorite badass female character is Elena from the Elena Miller series. So in this we follow Elena who has a very specific skill set in hunting down criminals and bringing them to justice. She is very intelligent because she has created this career for herself where she is pretty much a outside resource for the FBI. They come to her when they can't get things done. She is also very protective of the people around her. She is loyal to those people who have gained her trust. But she knows where her strengths and her weaknesses lie and so she's able to allow people who have strengths that aren't hers to help her in situations, which I really enjoyed. So those were some of my favorite badass female characters. Let me know down in the comments, have you met any of these ladies or who is your favorite badass female character? Be sure to check out that playlist down below where you can find all of the collaborators recommendations for their favorite badass female characters and just spend the day binge watching them. And once again, thank you so, so much to the lovely badass women who wanted to participate in this collaboration with me. So thank you so much for watching and until my next video, go read a book with a badass female character in it. Bye!